Traffic Archer 21175 is back taxiing down runway 18 on the runway, uh, Illinois Valley Traffic. All right, here we go. Just gonna throw a couple extra lights on so it makes us a little bit more visible. We're gonna taxi down to the end of the runway. We're looking both sides for traffic, making sure nobody's coming down. We've got some nice lights on to make us a little bit more visible. Nobody's coming. All right, let's taxi down runway 18. Closed. Nobody's coming down that runway. No one's coming down there. And we're just going to do a nice, normal takeoff. Ready? Yep. Everyone feel good? Seatbelts? Yes. Seatbelts. We're lined up. Here we go. Got to turn my... There we go. Okay. Full power. The wind's pretty much right down the runway. No wind correction. Engine gauges are both in the green. All in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. Looking for about 55, 60. There's 60, we're going. Nose is coming up. Get that right rudder. Gonna hug. Goodbye, Illinois Valley. Wow. Valley traffic, Archer 21175 is departing the airspace off to the south southeast. Illinois Valley, have a good day. So that's the Fox River? Something like that. So, Mom, I know you've been here before. It's actually right about 2 o'clock off the. It's kind of hard to see. There's not much to see. See right where the dam is? Right. Yeah. See the, if you follow that forward, yeah. there's kind of a, uh, like a cliff area. Okay. Right kind maybe of. 300 yards this way of the dam. Okay. Any so luck? is it parallel with that blue... So yes, if you come thing. this way, come that's the, the top of Starved Rock. If you see the... Uh-oh, hold on. I don't... See that flock yes, of birds? Yes, I do. Wow. Look ah. at that. Wow, that's that's quite insane. They're they're everywhere. They're down there too. Oh, there's some to your eleven o'clock. Yeah, I'm watching them. Wow. Oh, they're, they're geese, so if you look they? off. They're yeah. down there, Mom, that's where... Yeah. Starb Rock is. Ah. Yeah, that's a lovely nature preserve thing. Wow, I've never seen birds like this before. Look at all of them. Yeah. Are those geese? That, they got black... They look like seagulls. They do, but they're too big to be seagulls. Oh, no, maybe they maybe are. Maybe they're pelicans. <laughs> they're a bit too far north to be <laughs> pelicans. Look at all these in front of us here. Wow. It's like a storm. We really got to watch out for them. Yeah. You know what? There must be a storm over the lake or something. That's why they're all coming in. Oh. That's what gulls do. When there's a storm, their natural habitat, they move. Okay, I'll keep watching for you. Are you okay, okay to just go straight back now? Yeah, what? Yeah, fine. That's fine. Of course. Peru traffic, b ship 411 here. Charlie, we're taxing uh to the runway 18 uh, at Peru. 13207, that's DuPage, Aces. You have to remember all the... Um, you know, they, they're all written down on right. my iPad, oh, okay. and then in the ForeFlight app, they're all written down. But once you've flown around an area so many times, right. it's just like you get to memorizing all oh, of that. Oh, right. And does the GPS actually show the other airplanes approaching? When Some can... do, actually, but uh, this one does not. Oh, okay. By 2020, right. all airplanes must be able to do that. Oh, okay. There's okay. some little variations on that, but pretty much all airplanes have to be able to That'll be, be able to see where all the other airplanes yeah, are. Yeah, that'll be a lot safer. Oh, it will, definitely. Yeah, that's perfect. Keeping her just... 
the cruise descent doesn't need to be anything more than uh, 500 feet per minute descent. Right. And keep, but just keep that descent going. So if you see that that descent uh, isn't coming very easily, you could pull back on the power just a little bit more. Oh, okay, okay. So see, we're not getting a good descent. Pull back about so another 100 bit. RPMs, yeah. 150 RPMs, and that'll start to drop us. Yeah. A little, a little bit, bit more, a little, little bit more. more. Yep. One more, a little bit. A little bit more. There you go. Like this? Yep, that's good. Now hold about 500 feet per minute. And then what you're going to do when this big needle gets to the 9, yeah. you're just going to add a little bit of power, okay? So we and that'll just going to level the plane off just by itself. Oh, uh, okay. Perfect. And just come a little bit more to the left for me. Keep the descent coming. There you go, see we're coming up on uh, 2,900, so just give us about another 300 RPM. Oh, like this? Yep, you're doing good. Level the wings off, keep coming off to the left more. We just need, we could get a little bit closer there. Oh, okay. I'm not worried, I got Aurora in sight, so I'm just going to give us a little bit more. Yeah, we're still dropping. Right. I'm just going to push it up to about... 24, right about there. Oh, okay. And now you'll see it should just fly straight and level. Oh, nice. Just by using the power. Ah. There you go, fly that line. And then what we'll do, right before we, as we're getting transition through DuPage Tower, we're going to switch over back to the right side and we're going to start burning oh, yeah, that's fuel from the yeah. right side, because we want to burn it evenly. See now, do you feel that the plane, are you, if, do you feel that the plane, if you let go, is it going up or is it going uh, down? It's still like holding up a it's little bit, but it will drop. Okay, afterwards. yeah, because... If you feel that it, it's really dropping, right. you're just gonna pull, you could give it a little bit of up trim to oh, help okay. us out. Perfect. You're doing real good for your first flight. Oh, I, I just keep us coming over to the left a little bit more. Can see how we're going to angle out that way. We want to make sure we still keep going that way. A lot could be um, the wind might be pushing us a certain way. But. Right. Yep, perfect. We're doing 120 miles an hour right now. Wow. Doesn't feel like it, does it? No, not that at all. A little bit faster than your car. Today I had it at 148, 148 miles an hour. Really? That was straight and level flight. So we moved pretty quickly. You know, actually, you're not focusing too yeah, much on the gauges. exactly. You're not really focusing in here. You want to focus outside the right. plane more. Uh -huh. Well, you'll have plenty of time to look at the gauges when you're getting your instrument rating. Right. Their instrument, you're only looking here. So oh, really? Enjoy just being able to look outside the plane. So. Right. Yeah, just keep that descent coming and keep, keep us turning to the left. Bring us down to now about 2,400 feet. 2,400? Yep, so just keep, make sure we got a little bit of a descent. Nothing crucial, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. We right. still got 20 miles to our destination, so there's no reason to push down, but just about 2,400, that'll keep us well clear of uh, Domberg, or oh. I'm sorry, oh, here's airspace. In about a minute here or so, I'm gonna call DuPage Tower and request transition through their airspace. Right. Oh, I can see their runway now. Exactly, good job. And you see the big tower out there that's like this? Yeah. That's Fermilab. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we flew past that. Yep. All right, I'm going to give DuPage Tower here a call. So you keep flying the plane, you're doing real good. DuPage Tower, Archer 21175 is about 10 miles to the south, requesting transition through the east part of your airspace. We're just going over to Schaumburg Airport. 175, we're for a 3 altimeter, 29 or 86. 
nine or eight six. Thank you. And uh, transition approved. One seven five. He gave us transition, so we're just going to shoot right through the uh, airspace there. Nice. So they're always really nice at the pitch. Yep, perfect. You got it. Look, you're already becoming a pro. You see, we leveled off. Yeah. Give her a little bit more. Get Level her to up. about 24. There we go. I'm just going to make us full rich. When I'm below 3,000 feet, I like to make sure we keep the mixture full rich. Yes, yes. Perfect. So now that you're on the right course, here's another little trick I like to do. So keeping this altitude, you know you're going in the right direction. Right. What we're going to do is we're just going to pick something off the nose. Right. So directly off, we know we're going in the right direction. So if you see a line of trees or a water tower is a really good thing, yeah. pick the water tower and be like, I'm just going to pass just right of it and just fly to that water tower. Right. Then you don't even have to look if you're on the line. Ah. You just know if you're going in the right direction. Right. So if you pick one of the water towers off the left of the nose, right. that'll take us right to Schomburg Airport. I know this area very well by heart now, oh, okay. and I know which water tower is right next to the airport. So, so get that flew. water tower. So if you just flew straight right now, right. it'll take us right to Schomburg Airport. So ah. just keep picking something off in the right off the nose and just keep flying to it. And oh, just okay. watch your altitude. I'll tell you when we need to uh, go down to a lower altitude to stay away from. Uh, yes. I'm just going to give you a little shot of power here. It's probably, when you give it power, it's probably going to want to climb. You're right. just going to want to see we're actually climbing just from that. Well, you're going to want to push down a little bit more, and I'll give you a little bit of down trim. There you go. Nothing too aggressive. Right. There you go. Yep. See, I can just see with my mental picture that at an angle like this, it seems like we would climb. Right. So we want to just lower the nose just a little bit more. And you can verify that with your VSI. This is a vertical speed indicator. Right. So you're doing real good. Just keep picking something off in the distance. And I'll tell you, we will need to be a little bit more to our left. Okay. Whenever you get a sand. So just pick a water tower off to the left of the nose. So if you see a water tower off the left of the nose, got a pretty big stalk, it's wide, I don't know. There's oh, still okay. so many out there. Just try and fly to that one, and that'll give us a better entry into right. Schomburg Airport. Oh, okay. so. And see, we're still climbing up a little bit, so if we could just drop that nose, I'll pull the power back a little bit for you. And just let that nose drop. Just let the plane fly itself, and it will fly about 500 feet per minute. It will drop about 500 feet per minute. Is that Fermi Lab? Yes, that is. Oh. Yeah, you're okay. See, we're still climbing. Right. And I'm noticing with you, I... When you're looking at the instruments, you have yeah. a tendency to let the plane bank to the right. Ah. So what we're going to, that just takes time to remember not to do that. So I'm going to pull this power back even more and get us down to about 1,900 feet. So really push that nose down. I'll, I can give you a little bit of trim. Yes. But we really need to uh, just drop down a little bit more here. It'll bring us about 2,100 feet. Nothing more than 500 feet per minute. Right. And then keep us going out to the left, somewhere out that way. Okay. So turn the plane from where it is right now to about 11 o'clock. Yes. And just keep that descent coming. See, you did so good on the way there, I'm trying to <laughs> give you some more. Yes, yes. They're marvelous. Better than I could have done, oh my god. <laughs> I want to give you more and more to think about because yes. just flying a heading in altitude is too easy for you now. So now it's time to start doing something a little bit more advanced. Right, there's so many <laughs> things coming. I know, exactly. I need to focus. But trust me, as time goes on, you don't even think about them as ah. much anymore. I'm very relaxed. I know, I know this area very well, so that also helps. I am noticing with you, you do have a tendency to pull the plane off to the right. Right. So we just need to keep correcting that by, uh, it could be the wind. Right. But, uh, just keep 
correcting it with a little bit of left A line to keep us going out that way. Past this, uh, what, blue water tower? Yeah, so do you see the one water tower, or actually right off the nose, yeah. do you see how it's kind of a garbage dump and there's a hill right uh -huh. there? Yeah. If you fly right over that, we'll be right on top of Schomburg oh, Airport. So if you see that right, just fly us to that, and if we could lose about another 200 feet of altitude to 1,900 feet, we'd be golden. Yes. Got Schomburg Airport's frequency tuned up, and when they tell us uh, frequency change approved, I'm going to ask just for a quick wind check, just to hear what the winds are doing. Yes. Engine instruments are green. What I'm going to do, I'm putting the fuel pump on, and I'm just going to switch us over to the right tank now. Yes. There we go, perfect, 1,900 feet. You're doing real good, perfect. Yep. And just fly us right over the, uh, that garbage dump area. Oh, yeah, the, the... The hill? One. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Don't know if you can look, but at your 3 o'clock you can see the Sears Tower. Chicago skyline. Oh. It's very hazy, but it is there. All right, I'll go ahead and take the plane yes. now since we're coming into Schaumburg Airport. I no longer need this. Okay. I know exactly where I am. Can you see it, Gavin? Yes. It's really hazy. Very in the hazy. Yeah. Space Tower, Scout 445, whiskey, hold short of 28 at Hotel, I'm ready for departure. Charbo, whiskey, hold short of runway 28, wait enough for release. them to say transition approved, or, um, frequency changed. Because I'm getting pretty close and I want to make a radio call them. Yeah. Head to Page Tower, Archer 21175 has got Schomburg in sight. Five Bell Whiskey, turn left heading 170, runway 28, clear for takeoff. 170, clear for takeoff, five Bell Whiskey. Called. Yeah, Archer 21175 has got Schomburg Airport in sight. 175 frequency change approved, good day. Frequency change approved, thank you, 175. So we're switching over to Schomburg Airport, we're three miles. Schomburg traffic, Archer 21175 is three miles to the south inbound, 45 left downwind, runway 29, Schomburg traffic. I see the airport. See that big, it's a square brown building. Right. And the water tower. Yeah. That is, um, the runway goes is right in between those two. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I think I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I see it. Hey, Grave at the end, Com 80374, radio check, please. Just like in American Airlines, at a uh, high altitude of 3 o'clock. Yeah. Altitude of three o'clock. Very high. I mean, above that gray cloud. <laughs> Chamber traffic, Archer 21175, 45 left down, runway 29, Chamber traffic. Altitude for this airport. We're going to turn out. Chamber, Chamber traffic archer 21175. Left downwind runway 29. Chamber traffic. Alpha Bravo is left downwind runway 27. Volt. Here for traffic 192 Lima Lima EC 145. We're about three miles to the uh, to the west inbound for landing. Griffin traffic. So you see, we got the uh, runway right yeah. off the left. We're on a left downwind for runway 29. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the windsock, making sure we still got the right one r runway to choose. Yeah. Looking if there's any holes or any dents, if the runway's open, right. and everything checks out. So pre-landing checks, we all got our seatbelts? Yep. We're looking good, make sure you're full rich, fuel pump is on, we're on the fullest tank. And then 
as soon as we're beam the numbers, I'm going to start my descent from 1,600 feet. There's a beam the numbers. I'm going to pull my power back to about 18, 1,700 RPMs. We're well in the white arc. Dropping that first notch. Start about a 500 foot per minute descent. But I'd rather be high than low. There's the 45 degree angle off of uh, the runway. Schomburg traffic, Archer 21175, turning left base runway 29, Schomburg traffic. Making sure no one else is in the traffic pattern. On that white arc, I'm going to drop another notch flaps. Give us some down trim here to... Chopper traffic, got your 21175, turn to final runway 29, chopper traffic. Last notch of flaps. The speed's gonna drop. 200 feet. One white, one red, we're all right. Keep that descent coming. Okay, pulling the power. A little bit of wind from the left. We're okay, we're just gonna let her float now. Let her float. Ooh. No. Coming a little bit too fast, but safe landing. Oh. Hey. Holding full back pressure. You could go ahead and open that door if you want. Chopper traffic, Archer 175, clear runway 29, chopper traffic.